Hello everybody and welcome to Moscow Report Analysis. This video will focus on a comparison between the F-35A Lightning II and the A-10 Thunderbolt II, otherwise known as the Warthog. This video will focus on a factual review of the F-35A versus A-10 close air support capability. It is going to disregard air-to-air -air engagement, although we will discuss that, but the primary focus is ground support capability of the F-35A as compared to the A-10. But first, we'll look back at the reason why the A-10 came to be. The A-10 was developed based on the lessons learned in Vietnam, where close air support was required by troops. However, it also required mobility and capability to carry a large amount of ammunition and weapons as well as to be armored. The A-10 first flew in 1977, and over 716 of them have been built. The F-35 flew in 2006, 2016 it was introduced, and 80 have been built so far. The F-35A is a newcomer to this, but let's see how well it can handle the functions of the A-10. To look at this, we also have to look at the costs of this airplane and its potential operators. Currently, the F-35A is worth about $83 million per airplane to produce. The A-10 is approximately $18 million with about $5 million more for upgrades if required. There's a larger number of operators that have signed on for the F-35A. The A-10 has been used by Germany, South Korea, United Kingdom, and the United States. So there's a lot less operators because it was a specialized role, mainly focused to take out the Soviet armor in case of a Cold War escalation in Europe. F-35A, which is a conventional takeoff and landing aircraft, just like the A-10. Their differences are that the A-10 has two engines versus the F-35 single engine. The A-10 has a high bypass turbofan, whereas the F-35A has an afterburning turbofan, allowing it to become supersonic. The A-10, however, is capable of staying in the air on a single engine, giving it slightly higher survivability. Two engines are always better than one in the world of the military. Now let's talk about speed. On that single engine, the A-10 flies much slower at only 706 kilometers an hour, whereas the F-35 can break Mach 1.6 or even further at a speed of 1930 kilometers an hour. Their combat radius is affected by the efficiency of the engines. Although the F-35 can fly further, it is much hungrier when it comes to fuel, which means it can stay over a battlefield for only about 20 minutes before refueling, whereas the A-10 can stay above a battlefield for about 90 minutes. What about the brains of the two airplanes? Well, the F-35A is the latest and greatest. It has an active array scanning radar, it has a distributed aperture system, and an electro-optical targeting system. The A-10 is older, but there have been upgrades made to it, including the Lightning ER targeting pod for smart weapons, the Pave Penny target system, and of course, there's always the pilot and night vision goggles. Most of these features are built right into the F-35, giving it the advantage when it comes to battlefield intelligence and its ability to communicate to other aircraft much more effectively than the A-10 can. The A-10 pilot just has a headset. Their deployment capability is a different story. The F-35A requires a prepared runway. The A-10 can operate from unprepared, dirty, dusty, rocky airfields, which means that the A-10 can be deployed anywhere and much closer to the front lines. This gives the A-10 an advantage about being able to be closer to the battlefield and to return to the battle faster. This allows the A-10 to use a highway or an enemy airfield as its forward base of operations. The position of its engines minimizes the risk of junk getting into them and causing problems. The next item of discussion, of course, is stealth, because that is what the F-35 is designed for. The F-35 is a modern, fifth-generation stealth aircraft, the second operational craft of this type in the world, after the F-22 Raptor. It is designed and shaped not to be detectable on a radar. The A-10 shows up on a radar very visibly, because of its very simple, very crude, you could say, shaping. Radar signals bounce right off of its body. The F-35A also has stealth coatings which absorb some of the radar emissions and prevent it from being sent back. They both have flares and chaff. They both have the capability of radar jamming, although the F-35's radar jamming pod is much more advanced and built in, whereas the A-10 has to carry the ALQ-131 pod externally.
but the A10 design does have some advantages. The type of engines that are used and their position minimizes the heat signature of the A10 when it's low enough to be picked up by a surface-to-air heat-seeking missile. The F-35, if it gets low enough to the ground, its engine will light up and stealth only works if you cannot be detected in everything. In this case, the F-35 will be visible and detectable to a ground-launched heat-seeking missile. If stealth didn't work out for you, you're probably going to be engaged. So what are you going to do? You have to survive. The A-10 is built around the idea of protecting the pilot. It protects the pilot by having the pilot surrounded in a bathtub of titanium. That takes up about 2% of the airplane's total weight, which is a lot. Imagine sitting in a bathtub made out of one of the toughest metals in the world, and that's how the pilot is protected in the A-10. The F-35 does not have any armor because it is a light aircraft and has no armoring capability. The A-10 also has a greater amount of redundancy. It has triple redundancy, including a manual override for all control surfaces, meaning that if the hydraulics are hit, the pilot is still able to fly the plane. In addition, the A-10 was designed to fly with a single engine being lost, whereas the F-35 only has one engine. Also, the A-10 comes with the idea of being able to be redundant on its flight surfaces. It has two tails which allow them to function with only one available and the other one shot off. Finally, let's take a look at each plane's weapon capability. That is, what weapons does it carry and what can it do on a mission? The F-35A and the A-10 are very similar in their total capacity to carry weapons. They both carry about 16,000 or 18,000 pounds. However, the F-35A, in order to remain stealthy, must carry weapons inside of its bay doors. It does have external pylons, which you can see in this video here. However, if there's any weapons mounted on the outside of the plane, the plane becomes visible to radar. If it must take advantage of its radar and visibility, it must keep its weapons inside of its base, which means that it can only carry 3,000 pounds of weapons and remain stealthy. The A-10 has 11 hard points. 16,000 pounds of munitions can be mounted on these 11 hard points. These include freefall bombs, smart bombs, guided missiles, as well as unguided rocket systems such as the 3-inch Zuni rockets. However, the main weapon of the A-10 is its 30mm cannon. The A-10's 30mm cannon carries approximately 1,100 rounds of ammunition. The F-35 has a 25mm cannon with 180 rounds of ammunition. The kinetic energy difference, and that is how much energy there is in each round, is approximately double for the A-10, even though its round is only 30% larger. In addition, the A-10 rounds are armor-piercing, tungsten or depleted uranium rounds, allowing it to penetrate at a minimum 50 millimeters of armor, whereas the maximum penetration of the F-35's 20 millimeter cannon is only 50 millimeters. The design of the A-10 engines also allow it to be quickly reloaded at an airfield without shutting down the engines and allowing it to refuel and return to combat faster, whereas an F-35 must be powered down in order for it to be rearmed for the next mission. F-35 does have advantages when it comes to its weapons. It is able to use smarter weapons, it is able to use GPS targeted weapons, as well as using its Link 16 system, it's able to coordinate attack efforts with other aircraft and communicate effectively. The A-10 on the other hand, the pilot has a radio, a map, and GPS coordinates, as well as an IR tracker for targeting enemies. When it comes to air-to-air -to -air engagement, the F-35 is ahead. The F-35 is well ahead. The F-35 carries the AMRAAM missile with a range of approximately 60 miles, whereas the A-10 is limited only to the Sidewinder missile, which has a heat-seeking warhead and has a range of approximately 15 miles. Finally, the F-35 does have greater awareness when it comes to enemy aircraft by having a radar. The A-10 does not have an air scanning radar, means that it is blind and it is counting on visual detection of enemy targets. So this makes the F-35 a more efficient airplane. Well, there you go. This has been a close air support breakdown and comparison of the A-10 and the F-35A. Let me know what you think in the comments and your feedback around this video. Let me know what other topic you'd like me to cover. Thank you very much. This is Moscow Report, signing off.
Москва. Работают все радиостанции Советского Союза. Передаем сообщение ТАСС.